All right, so, hi everybody, it's Kids Who here. I made a Tinkerbell story of how Tinkerbell was born in the first movie that they made of Tinkerbell without Peter Pan, of course. So, let's start. So, let's see here. First start. When a baby laughs for the first time, that's when a fairy's life takes flight. The laugh travels on white dandelion fluff, goes to the second star, and comes to Pixie Hollow. That's Pixie Hollow. The wind fairies come out and get the dandelion fluff. Other fairies come up and follow the wind fairy. Next page. Next, all the fairies come up. Well, most of them. The wind fairy drops the dandelion fluff onto a spiral. Then, dustkeeper fairies come and sprinkle pixie dust all over the new fairy. That's when it transforms to a cute little adorable fairy. Next, the queen arrives, and then she has to help her wings. Then, next, the queen teaches her how to fly. Then, the little fairy finds her talent. Tinkerbell. This is Tinkerbell. And that's the queen of Pixie Hollow. She has a tinkering hammer. That's her talent. Then, the fairies of her talent, or his, come and greet him or her really well. Next, they went and found Tinkerbell's home. I wrote this so everyone knows it's Tinkerbell right up here. There was a closet full of clothes waiting for her, but they all swaddled her. She had, luckily she had some flower scissors to cut her dress. That's how she made her outfit, you guys. Oops, wrong order. Wrong order, wrong order. All right, we kind of mixed up here, you guys, but luckily I found the right page. Tinkerbell here. Next, after then, Tinkerbell arrived with her new cute dress. Next, <laughs> this fairy's kind of weird. He, she kind of looks like Tinkerbell a bit. It's Fairy Mary. She has brown hair with a little red streak in the front of her hair. She greets Tinkerbell well and makes sure she's ready to be a tinker. Not yet, but soon she will. Next, what happened was Tinkerbell found the wind fairy who dropped the dandelion fluff, of course, that's Tinkerbell, onto the spiral. Next, Tinkerbell kind of scared her and then she fell down. Tinkerbell kind of got her uh, acorn on her head. Next, she just shook it off and made sure she was okay. Not that okay. Next, Tinkerbell just went off and flew with her friends, Clank and Bobble. Of course, they are Tinker Fairies, too. Next, they crashed, and then Tinkerbell went with a bam. Then, one fairy was being a bit silly and grabbing her legs, her head, and everything. The other fairy, Rosetta, a garden fairy, who probably made the scissors, well, probably she gave some roses for the Tinker Fairies to make it. Next, Rosetta, she was laughing so hard. Next, Eridessa, the fairy that's pulling her legs, made a rainbow. It was a bit bright so Tinkerbell could not see. Her wings were fluttering like that. So funny. Next, Tinkerbell was wondering where she was going to take this rainbow. She was going to take it to the mainland. Guess what this is. If you say it's the second star, you are right. The second star in the first page and probably the second page too. Next, Tinkerbell said if I can come too, if she can come. But Eridessa said no, because in the story, Tinker Fairies were not allowed to go to the mainland. Just because their work was here and making Tinker gadgets and pots and everything. And then she said she was not that happy. And then with one of her gadgets, she busted her rainbow away. 
And that's all the story I have. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and press notifications and give me a huge thumbs up. Bye!